see this question which was asked in previous year NEET this was a circuit diagram and is asking us to find out what is the potential across these two terminals and what is the voltmeter reading between these two terminals BC and the resistors are given battery is having two volts then you have to find out what is the potential across BC you can just see the textbook answer which is very lengthy very confusing but can we solve this problem in a very easy way yeah it's possible how let me discuss first thing is if you want to find out the potential across BC you just remove this voltmeter just imagine this to be point O it is clear that 20 plus 30 is 50 and this is also 50 50 50 they are parallel then the net resistance here is going to be half of that that is 25 ohms if two resistors are same and they are parallel half of the resistance is going to be the answer 50 50 are parallel then half of that is 25 is going to be your answer which is called as series and par this is parallel connection here these two are series and these two are parallel then when you get the net resistance can you find out the net current definitely you can find out the net current i is nothing but the voltage supplied by the net current therefore this is going to be 2 by 25 so from here the current drawn is going to be 2 by 25 this is 50 ohms this is 50 ohms the resistances are going to be same here then the current is going to be divided equally yeah which is going to be 1 by 25 and this is also going to be 1 by 25 let this be I1 and let this be I2. Both are same. Yes. So I2 is going to be uh, 1 by 25 and I1 is also going to be 1 by 25. Now you can solve this problem in just one step here. Let us see what is that. You can consider a VO minus VB. VO minus VB is I1 into R. This resistance I can take. So therefore, VO minus VB is equal to I1 is nothing but 1 by 25. This is going to be 20 by 25. Let this be equation number 1. Now, you can take a... VO minus VC is equal to this is I2 into R. So VO minus VC is nothing but 1 more 1 by 25 into 30. That is 30 by 25, which is going to be equation number 2. By using this equation directly, you are going to get the answer. It's very amazing. Let us imagine now. Let's let's see what is going to happen. So you find out across BC you know 30 is larger and 20 is smaller so can you make 2 by 1 yeah you can do it 2 minus 1 so therefore v0 minus vc minus v0 plus vb is equal to 30 by 25 minus 20 by 25 this is going to be cancelled then what is left VB minus VC, which is nothing but voltage across BC, that is VB minus VC is nothing but 30 minus 20 is 10, 10 by 25, which is nothing but 0 0.4 volts. Is it not the amazing method? Thank you very much. Welcome.